Hello, you all. My name is Courtney Miracle. Welcome to the Health and Wellness Summit. Today, I am joined by one of my amazing friends, Cheryl Howard Chuck. Cheryl, how are you today? Oh, I'm so lit. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do, lots of things, but uh, what would you like to share with us today? Oh, today. Uh, so I am a mom. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a coach. I'm a breathwork uh, leader. And I've been in the wellness world for, I want to say forever. I Way back when I was a personal trainer, child protection worker, all the things. And, and I think that underlying thing is that I've always wanted to make a difference for, make a difference in this world and make an impact. And so I want to be able to just bring it to the world, just some of the work that I'm doing and predominantly with breath work. And that's where I want to head today. Yeah, I love it. So tell us a little bit, obviously I'm also a breathwork facilitator, but a lot of people watching this have no idea what breath work is. So can you give us a, a uh, dummy's guide to what is breath work and how can you use it in your life? Yeah, sure. So breath work is the thing, the modality, the tool it's in your back pocket or just sweet and lovingly in your chest that you get to <laughs> everywhere, right? So it's that thing that we get to use to be present, to be able to stop, pause. And what I've been saying to everybody that's super new to breath work, it's the reset. It's the recalibration. It's the way to just stop being on autopilot, living in, in that crazy chaotic space or picking ourselves back up from that crash and burn that we so often do as a mom as an entrepreneur, as you know, a wife or whoever you are, just knowing that there's that, that way of riding the waves of life, but just be super, super present. So it's just the tool that we get to use. I love it. I love it. And I think the coolest thing with breathwork is just that you can use it anytime, right? It can be, it can be just stopping and taking a couple of deep breaths. It can be a meditative state. Like it, breathwork is just so phenomenal. So um, I know you have a favorite question that you love to ask. So will you, um, audience, I want you guys to actually like ask yourself this. Cheryl, what's the question that you love to ask people? So I ask myself as well. I mean, I'm a, I've been doing personal development work, I feel like forever. And so I ask myself this. And so it's really important to me as a coach in the wellness space is that what I get to do, I certainly get to, to experience too. It's like, are you showing up as the woman that you want to be in the life that you want to create? or as the wife that you want to be in the marriage that you want to create, as a sister, as a daughter, as an employee, as a CEO, what, whatever some of those identities are, are we actually really and truly being that person that we desire to be? And more often than not, the answer is nope. <laughs> and so Q, um, so Q, well then what, like, what do we do with that? And so, so much of the work that I do and coaching and with breath work and, and everything I do is kind of a fusion, to be honest, cause I can't coach without breath. I can't, I wouldn't want to do breath work without having the coaching background that I have, but it's like, we get to be honest because th this is the other thing for me is like, we can't shift and change what we don't acknowledge to be true. So if we're kind of coasting in our job and I'll get to that and not loving it and it's impacting us or we're in a marriage that we're super just like on paper everything is so perfect but we're actually so far from happy or we're really struggling as a mom got the mask on and pretending like we've got all of our all of our shit together it's going to impact us and so one of the things about the honesty is what I've realized is chronic stress that we carry as women equals chronic disease. And one of the, the pieces for me is I'm gonna be 48 in June. So a couple more months, uh, I'm gonna be 48. I know I'm halfway. I know I'm halfway. And what I know to be true is I, I get to, and I need to really and truly use breath work and make choices in my life that allow me to not harm my body because that's the only way I'm going to be here is if my body is taken care of and that if I end up shifting and changing and being that person, that woman that I want to be in the life that I want to create. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool in that sense, but there's so many women that I know that are so overwhelmed, anxious, stressed to the max. Well, and this last year has been like, if you weren't stressed before you are now, I mean, like there's just a, there's just that overwhelming sense of fear and, and unknown and all of that stuff. And I feel like, and I know you and I've talked a lot about this, but the last year has been for a lot of people, um, 
a, a year of awakening and looking and like, I feel like it was a magnifier on your life, right? If you were doing some of the work, it gave you a little more space to do the work. And if you weren't, that stress just compounded. And I feel like, unfortunately, more of the world is in the compound stress of now my kids are homeschooling and now this and now that, and there's this constant fear and I don't know what's going to happen. And, and so, you know, getting people to take a minute and, and really look at that and go, what does this look like? And am I being right? Am I really being that person? So most people probably have some resistance to the honesty. Mm -hmm. how, <laughs> how, how do you really walk your clients through getting to the place where they can be honest and they can accept where they are and what's really happening? Yeah, great question. Great question. So it's interesting. So from a pure practical progression path ex experience for them, we, we start at the beginning and the beginning is noticing that we actually feel crappy, overwhelmed, stressed on a, you know, so whether or not we get to that, the, the beginning is that we're actually here and working together. And then it becomes the opening. It's like, Ooh, wait a second. There's like a, there's a desire to want something different, but then it, it's the retreat back and forth. I'm doing a, a lot of trauma training right now. And it's like, we, we pendulate, we go back into the like, okay, so here's what I know is safe ish. I don't really enjoy it. I'm not happy here, but I know it. And so sometimes in that, that common uh, piece that you were just speaking about the uncertainty, it's like, but I know that this is right. So then we get to kind of go into, oh, well, here's an opening that might actually shift and change. And if I set a boundary, what would that look like? And we don't set boundaries in our world because something <laughs> might change, which is like, kind of like the, that, that, that magical moment that I like to say, well, we're not getting what we desire anyway. We're not. So we <laughs> right. So if we set the boundary, then we actually know where we stand. And so, yes, things may shift and change. And maybe with the person situation that you want to set the boundary, but we're actually not getting anything that we desire out of any of it. So it's kind of a gift. And so the, I want to say that the, the, the opening and the beginning is like really figuring out what the, what the why is. So it's like, are you showing up as a woman that you want to be? Oh, no why looking at that opening so that the honesty is, oh, wait a second, this is actually what I want and what I desire. And from that space, we talk about the fear. We talk about the feelings. We talk about the courage. We also talk about the cost, the cost of going to that place and not going to that place. The surrender, the courage, we come back to courage because the courage is like that space that we kind of pendulate back is like, oh, that feels a little bit scary because new things are scary. And so is staying where we are as humans. We talk a lot about the cost of inaction, yeah. right? And it's like, well, what's the benefit? And that's huge. And that can draw, that can move a lot of people where you're like, what if you do nothing? Where are you going to be in six months, a year, two years? Like, where are you going to be? And for a lot of people, they don't ever think about that, right? They don't go, gosh, if I don't make a change, shit, I'm still going to be in this place or somewhere worse, right? And that, that cost of, and courage is funny because with my shift program, courage is one of our main, you know, we have six C's and that's one of them. And it's like, courage isn't like just the courage to start. Like you said, you pendulate back and forth. It's not just the courage to start. It's the courage to show up every day and look at it and lean into it and like be uncomfortable and still be safe. Like it's an everyday thing, no matter what you're doing, whether it's a mom or a business, it's like courage is such a big piece that I don't think a lot of people talk about. No. And, and I feel like it, it's that we do, we go back, we go back and forth because, you know, it's interesting. One of the questions that I, that I follow up often is do you want to be in the same place where exactly where you are next year? Again, answer always no. It's like, oh, okay. So what do I, what, what do we get to do? What, you know, we have choices in our life and yeah, that it doesn't mean. So if the answer is no, that's a big a foundation. I mean, I just left the corporate wellness world on purpose, my choice going, wow, in a pandemic, the awakening, as you called it, I was like, I don't want to work this hard. My children are at home. I actually don't care about the income in this, but I, I, I don't want to live this way for my body, for my children, for my family. And so it was really, I knew, but I also knew in the moment when, but I also knew that I wanted to do it in a way that was in alignment. It was me and my best self. So that the students that I was leading and teaching had an end 
that it made sense that we, from a financial perspective, could do all of that. So that's the other piece that I really like to be able to share. And I would never, with my, with my clients, I would never have been in that place if I wouldn't have used breath work, mm -hmm. integrative and a meditative space, because what breath work does is it allows us to shut down the mind, the shoulds, the shouldn'ts. Who are you to? You have a safe and secure job in the middle of a pandemic. And yet living in the corporate, like being in the corporate wellness world, I was like, this isn't, I'm not well, I'm act, ooh, ooh, that's a little motion. I wasn't <laughs> well, I wasn't thriving. I wasn't, I was barely surviving. And so I feel like that's the gift that we get to step into when we, when we use breath work. And the moment that I knew that there was an end was the, was the honesty. Ooh, I'm getting another little chill. It was like, wow. It, like, so it was like, there was the beginning. I don't like this. There was the opening. Ooh, what would happen if, until the moment of the honesty of going, I need to set some boundaries here and create so that I can show up as the woman that I want to be, the wife that I want to be. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize <laughs> how impactful this has been that I surrender into the unknown knowing that this experience has impacted and breath work was I did breath work. I mean, integrative breath work. I do every day. Yes. Um, all the time. I even did a little bit of breath work even during the interview. And I think that's the cool thing is that I can just use power breath, which is one of my favorite in and out through the nose. I know the intention is to go super fast and I just love it slow and really slow in and out through the nose. Cause it's so calming. And I feel as a mom of three boys and just in the full life that we have, not the crazy and the chaotic, but that full life that we share is there such a, there's a power that comes with just knowing that anything that I've got, I've got right here. Mm -hmm. If I just stop and slow down. Right. Yeah. And that's what the world is like gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Right. And it's like, you can go when you can have this full life and you can do all of the things and you can slow down. Right. And, and I know as moms, I mean, so I go to bed with my girls every night, one on each side. It's my favorite time of the day. Um, and we breathe. And now it's gotten to the point where my little one who just turned five, she's the cutest thing ever. She's like, breathe in, <sighs> exhale. And like, and like every other night, she's like, what's breathe in called? Right? Like, she doesn't know it's inhale, but like, like they get it. And like, they have those tools and, and, and leading by example of like, it's okay to take a minute and everything it does physiologically to you on the health standpoint is, is the other side, but like, it's like mentally, physically, everything changes when you can breathe and you can slow down enough to be honest. Right. Yeah. So when you made that choice and you got honest, and, and this is for those of you listening that this sounds scary to you, it's like, once you hit that honesty, then there's this opening and this lightness, once you decide and you're like, Oh, this is amazing. Right. I mean, you and I made similar choices and the opening feels so good. The honesty doesn't always, but the opening is just the beauty of like what life gets to be. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think just, you know, as, as a mom of, of three, it's like, if I can teach my boys how to feel, they breathe as well to express their emotions and follow their heart and their dreams. It, it's like, that's actually super important to me and they see that. And so I want to be, and I know that you feel the same way about your girls and just like, we want to be like, we want to be strong and powerful and intentional, but we also get to be soft and we get to be solid in that softness and be vulnerable. And I was saying to you, even before we, we started this interview, slowing down because I was in that push and go and hustle space for so long, creating that space for me has felt a little bit uncomfortable at times. When you talk about the honesty, right? Now it's the honesty of being here and being, wow, now, now what? And it's interesting to me. So one of the, one of the, the fight, once we hit courage for the second time, the very final kind of space where I guide in, in my, in my program, in my coaching is the blossoming, breathe and blossom, right? We get to do both in the fusion. And what I love about the blossoming is that personal growth isn't there isn't a timeline. It's like every season, there's just a new growth. So we get to know, Ooh, that's cool. So if I know I can leave the corporate wellness world, and this is actually where I get to go. And it, there's a, an allowance and an opening 
and a connection to my husband and I'm more present for my children. It's like, oh, now, now what? Like now, where do I get to grow? And how cool is that? So I feel like this experience and breath work has just been, has been that tool, right? Integrative, the kind of breath that you can carry with you everywhere. And then the meditative kind where we're, where, where I shut, there's a guiding either in person or online where you really and truly allow your body to guide and you shut your mind down. For so many of us, meditation is hard because our mind just won't be quiet. And it's just the mind trash. I did a podcast yesterday and, 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 and the host of the podcast kept referring it to as head trash. Oh, and it, <laughs> I like it, right? It's like, it's the garbage in our head that just kind of keeps going and going. And, and, and so it's, it's just this, this gift that's so powerful. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, tell, um, tell the viewers, how do they find you? Where, where's the best place to connect with you? See all of your amazing stuff um, and, and get in contact with you. Yeah. So sweet. So I'm on Instagram and I do lives Tuesday, 5 15 AM PST. I'm a morning girl. And Thursdays at 2 p.m. PST. And I also, my website is my la first and last name, Cheryl L with a little Lynn Howard Jack. You'll be able to find me there too. I do, if you're wanting to really connect with integrative breath, I am all about connection, really going to a, a, the depth. So I do a personal uh, personalized 10-day uh, breath break challenge. So you fill out a little questionnaire. What are the stressful things in your world. And then I create a little breath plan for you for those 10 days. And we text back and forth, um, the fusion of the two. So that's on my website. That's a really cool thing. Um, and getting to, right. If one of the questions that I love to ask is, you know, if not now, when, right. And we've kind of talked about that now is the pandemic time. And so if anything's kind of niggled with you, like come and, and check out the website, start being open to breath, feeling what it, uh, feel what it feels like, not just think about what it feels like. It's just an amazing space to be. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You guys, Cheryl's amazing and, and breath is amazing. And it's something that you can't understand until you experience it. So do a live with Cheryl, check out her website. Um, she's one of my favorite humans ever. So thank you for being here. Um, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. See ya.